In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome muli dito sa Basilica. Today we are celebrating the Feast of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. To prepare ourselves over the soul sacrifice to the Mass, we pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. The Lord have mercy. The Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ the mercy. Christ the mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. The Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, renew in your church the spirit you gave St. Augustine. Filled with this spirit, may we thirst for you alone as the fountain of wisdom and seek you as the source of eternal love. We ask this, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is God. Everyone who loves is begotten of God and has knowledge of God. The man without love has known nothing of God, for God is love. God's love was rebuilt in our midst in this way. He sent his only son to the world that we might have life through him. Love then consists in this. Not that we have loved God, but that He has loved us and has sent His Son as an offering for our sins. Beloved, if God has loved us so, we must have the same love for one another. God has never yet been seen, yet if we love one if we God, if we love one another, God dwells in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. The way we know, we remain in Him, and He in us is that He has given us of His Spirit. We have seen for ourselves and can testify that the Father has sent the Son a savior of the world. When anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. We have come to know and enter fully into the love God has for us. God is love, and he who lives in love lives in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. 
Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, You are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since He is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Please stand. Go and teach all people my gospel. I am with you always until the end of the world. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Avoid the title Rabbi. One among you is your teacher, and the rest are learners. Don't call anyone on earth your father. Only one is your father, the one in heaven. Avoid being called teachers. Only one is your teacher, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be the one who serves the rest. Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, but whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Ngayong araw pong ito, pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ni San Agustin, isang obispo at naging doctor of the church, gaya kahapon na pinakita sa atin sa selebrasyon sa kapistahan ni Santa Monica na kanyang ina sa pamagitan ng kanyang pagdarasal at luha, halos ang luha niya ay dugo, na convert niya rin si San Agustin na isang pasaway nung siya ay kabataan pa. Ngunit, alam natin, guys, sa istorya ng kanyang buhay, eh, mula noon, nung na-convert siya, eh, mga simpleng bagay lang naman yung ginawa niya, kung tutuusin. Gaya nung magisinulat siyang The Rule of St. Augustine, na kahit kami mga Dominican sa mga ibang release orders, ay sinusundan yung mga sinulat niya bilang guide na mamuhay bilang mabuting isang relihiyoso At kung may pagkakataon ko yung basahin yung kanyang libro na Confessions of St. Augustine, napakasimple ang libro, ngunit naisasalarawan niya ang katayuan ng isang tao sa pagiging makasalanan, namulat at pinaganda ang kanyang sarili sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Kaya kung minsan, pag iniisip natin, bakit kaya naging may mga santong naging doctors of the church? Sapagkat marami silang nagawa, na isulat na hindi naluluma. Ibig sabihin, applicable pa kahit ngayon. Hindi lamang po mga lalaki, may mga doctors of the church. Meron sa St. Catherine of Siena, St. Teresa of Avila, mga simpleng madre. And yet, ang ginawa nila habang sila nabubuhay ay kahanga-hanga at hinangaan sa pagdating ng panahon. So, meron naman tayong St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Uh, Albert the Great, volume-volume ng mga libro. Napaka-kahanga-hanga kanilang talino 
At hanggang ngayon ay ginagamit pa sa plat. Sabi ko nga, hindi na luluma ito. Iyon ang mga tinatawag ng mga legacy. Kaya yun ang isang, siguro yun ang isa, isa sa mga dahilan. Malaman na, of course, hindi, ko, hindi ako nakakasiguro kung sila ba lahat kailangan nakagawa ng milagro. Sapagat isa yun sa mga qualification para magigang isang santo. Ngunit yung mga detalye na kanilang mga sinulat, nakahanga-hanga, na being inspired at makaka-inspired sa hanggang sa panahon, gaya na sa inabay sa atin sa gospel, na hindi, hindi kailanman tayo iiwan ng Panginoon if He dwells in us, if we believe in, in Christ. Lagi nating kasamang Diyos. Huwag lang tayong bibitiw at hihiwalay. Kaya yung mga tinatawag ng nating legacy, malamang iyon ang pinagbasihan. Eh, paano na lang tayong mga ordinary yung tao? Meron, ngunit sa nakikita ko, may naiiwan naman tayong legacy kahit paano. Hindi lamang tayo, <laughs> alala ko tayo, hindi lamang tayo naalala. Kunwari, namatay na tayo at sa death anniversary lang tayo maalala o sa birthday natin, maalala tayo, hindi. Isang kauglayan ng mga Pilipino, hindi ko man ma-prove ito, pero, pero parang totoo. Bakit merong mga, yung mag-asawa, mag-anak ng babae o lalaki? Bakit? Of course, yun iba, medyo, medyo modern, pigkakabit-kabit yung pangalan nila. Meron, meron pa rin natitira na ipinapangalan yung kanilang anak sa kanilang lolo at lola. Di ba? Eh, kung meron sa pamilya nung ganun, kung tatanagan mo, bakit? Hindi eh, naman dahil sa Old Testament, ganun ang nangyayari kapag may anak ang lalaki, ang kailangan ng pangalan mo, kapangalan ka ng tatay mo, parang junior ka lagi. Pero ito, lolo mo na, o lolo, 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 nga, pero yung parang pinangalan, sapagkat meron silang magandang iniwan. Yun ang tinatawag nating legacy. Magagandang bagay, very pleasant, at kaya-aya na na ma-inspired, nakaka-inspired. Kaya napilitin mo na natin gayahin at hindi natin kaya. And yet, merong mangyayari na sana, gaya nung sabi natin, kinuha yung pangalan ng bata, na sa paglaki niyon, eh, yung parents naman, maalala nila yung ihubog yung batang yun according sa nakita nun sa lolo nila. Kaya ngayon, kaya yun ang isang bagay na laging pinapalala sa atin. Sa paglipas ng panahon, ng oras, hindi na sasayang. Kung, kung lagi tayong nag-iisip tungkol sa future, the only guy that we have is whatever happened in the past. Yun magiging guide natin sa present. Totoo yun. Marami kang maiwasan o magagawa ngayon o sa bukas kapag tinignan mo yung nakaraan. Siguro may, may natitira pa sa ating, sabi nga, memories. Kaya nga, pinipili natin sa araw-araw na yung uh, memories na itinuturo natin sa mga kabataan, sa ating sarili, ay laging pleasant. We try to avoid yung mga negati- ne- negatism sa ating buhay. Sapat, Toxic lang yun, no? Pero kung pleasant, eh talagang kaya-aya. Lalo na kapag nakita mo yan pagdating ng araw. Ako nakikita ko yan, no? Gaya ng mga estudyante ko noon, mga 1980s. Nasa panong yun, makulit na rin mga bata, no? <laughs> kapag dumadalaw dito sa akin, sabi nila, Father, kilala niyo pa ba ako? Hindi. Sino ka ba? So they try to describe themselves. Ah, ikaw pala yun. Oh. Bakit siya, bakit ka bumalik? Eh wala, gusto ko lang namin makita. Oh, anong itsura ko ngayon? Matanda na. Pagkatapos, pero meron siya ko, sigurado meron. Sabi na pa rin, naala lang namin kung ano, kung kaano kami kakulit, eh ganun ka rin ka high blood kung misyan. <laughs> Kaya kung misyan, matatawa ka na lang, no? 
yung mga memories na yun na akala mo nung panahon yun eh, hindi kaya-aya. Yung pala, nagbibigay liwanag o lakas sa atin sa araw-araw. Lalo na ngayon, ngayong pandemic, no, napakahirap. Sapagat hindi ka lamang makalabas, puro na lang text, puro na lang voice call ang natatanggap mo. At hindi mo rin alam kung, of course, sometimes masasagot mo, kung isa, pareho na rin yung dinadaanan mo. And yet, sabi nga, eh, anong gagawin natin? Hindi eh, na tayo just nga, nga, tatanga, kundi gagawa tayo ng paraan, no? Oh, yeah. Sometimes it, you just try to recall what happened in the past. You just try to explain. Eh, okay na yun. Sapagkat sa pamamagitan ng pagpapaliwanag at pag ipapakita mo ang maganda, very positive, hindi ka naman nagsisinungaling, no? You don't need to tell a lie o oh, i-divert yung attention sa isang taong uh, gusto ka lang makausap o oh, nagpapakita ng malasakit, eh, gagawa ka ng istorya. Hindi. Eh, napakasimple. Lalo na kung meron kayong pinagsamahan. At yung pinagsamahan na yun, eh, nangunguna doon lagi. Yung sabi nga nating pleasant memories. Totoo yun. Sayaw man natin sa gusto. Hindi lang yung uh, karanasan ng mga tumatanda. Tulad natin, no? <laughs> Pero sabi nga, ang konsuelo lang natin, kalabaw lang ang tumatanda. Tayong mga tao hindi tumatanda as long as ginagamit pa natin ang ating mauta, lalo na ating pinapalago ang ating puso, anumang katayuan natin, anumang panahon, anumang okasyon, o oh, napakarami na yun. Sapagat alam natin na yun ang pamamaraan na hindi tayo nagdi-deteriorate. The more we grow sa buhay natin araw-araw, sapagkat kung may merong paghirap, nagkakaroon tayo ng lakas na maging malakas sa ganong mga okasyon. At hindi tayo bibitiw at hindi tayo bibigay sapagkat alam natin na kapag laging tayo nakasandal sa Diyos, may lagi tayong inaasahan. At alam natin na ang hindi natin kaya, ipinapaubaya natin sa Diyos. Paano kumbinsya ng sarili? kanya-kanyang diskarte na lang yan po. Hindi lamin ang ginagawa, <laughs> sabi ng, ng mga pare, ng mga matitino. Kahit na mga hindi matino, nakakaisipin sila ng kabutihan na may mangyayari sa kanila sa araw-araw o sa mga darating pang mga araw. Pagsitayo po tayo. My brothers and sisters, with confidence, let us pray to our Heavenly Father who knows all our needs and is always ready to answer our petitions. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may remain faithful to her mission to reestablish all things in and through Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer blindness of heart may experience the light of Christ shining through the darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer and mourn may receive comfort in their pain and sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find it hard to follow Jesus may be encouraged and comforted by our example of living the Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, especially those who follow the rule of St. Augustine, that we may remain faithful to what we profess and become one in mind and heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of this Mass.
Grant us, O Lord, the gifts of love, compassion, mercy, and forgiveness, and cleanse our hearts of hatred and aversion. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray with the brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Merciful Lord, as we celebrate the, the feast of our salvation, we pray that our gifts may be a sign of unity and a bond of love. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. His life was a constant quest to know you and rejoice in you and in finding you to seek you with ever greater love. By teaching, he enlightened your church. Moved by the love for you and by the seal of your glory, he established communities of religious setting before them the ideal sharing of all things in common. Tireless in proclaiming the good news of salvation by preaching and writing, he fostered unity and peace and built up the fellowship of the Church. With grateful hearts, we join the choirs of heaven and their everlasting praise of your glory as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May hold it there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of his body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, to the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. With one mind and one heart, we offer together the prayer the Lord taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity and accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be, peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to save him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, make us holy by our sharing at the table of Christ. As members of his body, help us to become what we have received. Grant this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican Community of Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag 
will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you, will, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa, where you will find available online and other options for donations. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Marami pong salamat sa pagdalo nyo sa Manal na Misa at pagdalaw po dito sa Manawag. Ingat lang po lagi sa ating pag at sa araw-araw. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandirito sa simbahan na humihiling sa nagumaling sa anumang karamdaman. Ilakip na rin po natin yung sa ating pamamahay, sa ospital, kahit po sa ang parte ng mundo na naririnig tayo ano pa kaya sa Naririnig po na tala, lagi yan ng Diyos. So, napakaganda pong gawain yan. Salamat po. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag so that in the true knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. For, for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles, if you have them with you, just bring them out and do not leave your place. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.